All right, welcome to another episode of Community Super Replay. I'm Kyle Locke, and today I'm joined by Corey Rogers. Hello. And Aaron Blanchard. Hey. And we are continuing our quest to destroy all of the Colossi. So, last episode we took out three of them. Uh, Jordan was there for that one. Um, and uh, we took out probably one of my more favorite ones. Uh, but first off... Aaron, you said you haven't actually played this one, but you've just you've watched it before. Yeah, I've watched it. I may have attempted it once, but okay, I've only actually watched the whole game before, so I I know everything. But okay, same and Corey, here. same here. You just watched it. Yeah. All right. Actually, did you watch it when I played it the first time? I did. Okay. Well, not was that I'll, in the dorm? In the dorm. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, so you sort of remember this one? Yep. Yeah. It's such a cool game. <laughs> exactly. It is one of the best. I think it's one of the best PS2 games. Oh yeah, it's, it's been rated. I think it's been rated that highly regarded to be one of the best PS2 games out there. And like even to, I mean, look at this. This still looks amazing. Yeah, I love that little. It looks like a bouncy ball. That's your like <laughs> your little grip. Oh, the meter. grip meter thing. Yeah, yeah, things. I hate little... that. There's like two seconds from I getting. Can't, yeah, can't two seconds from actually getting to the top, and your thing runs out. And you have Oh them. god, yeah. Yeah, we had way too many moments where we were like on the verge of falling and our grip meter was so so used up. Oh no. But uh come on. And this horse probably the most realistic horse animation I've seen yeah. in a video game. Oh, it uh, it does look beautiful, you know. Yeah. It looks really good. Yeah, Ago is is awesome. So does this game have like a story or is it just taking out monsters? Much? Yeah, the story is uh, the woman that you love is kind of like in a coma of some sort. Oh, I remember this one. Um, and you need to destroy the Colossi in order to bring her back. Oh, okay. So that's why he's doing it. Mm. I remember this one. I do not I do not like this one because this one is hard. Um, you have to like... There's a, a Colossus that you have to get underneath these, uh, here. You see that thing right there on the left? Yeah. You have to get into that thing it's and like wait thing. for it to come and look in there to try and find you. And then when it does, you run out and climb up on top of it. And it can be really annoying. Oh. Like trying to lure him over to do it. Right, right. Yeah. All right, so where is he at? Gotta find him. Where are you at? Wee. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. <clears throat> yep, this one. Yeah, those two things that are hanging from its face. Those are the one. Those are the things you climb up on. Oh, okay. So we gotta get up on those things. Da 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 da. Oh wait, no, I didn't. Well, I did find something, I guess. All right. Uh, I'm, just wait, I'm just waiting for the text to pop up. Tell me who it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Keep, rem- keep reminding myself this isn't in Zelda. Yeah. And jump. I think it could pretty much rival Zelda. It looks like it's got a very yeah. It does have a very has- Zelda look to it, doesn't it? It does. Where'd your horse go? He ran away. Right, why you don't need him anymore? No, I don't need the horse, but he's, mm. yeah, running around oh, like an idiot. Yeah, he doesn't die. Oh, God. Look how big he is. Ah! <laughs> All right. So I go in here, and now I just got to wait. Now we play the waiting game. So uh, if, like, it's a question. If, like, some of your favorite, like, gaming franchises if they were made by a different company would you still like them the same like if say like if Zelda wasn't made by Nintendo but was made by somebody else would you well I think still accept it I mean well I think that do are you talking like if if Zelda was made by Nintendo for so long and then out of nowhere another company took it over or just in general in general if it was made by somebody else other than well I think it really depends on if the game had been the same or if the quality of it was different yeah I mean it depends on if it's a good game or not whoa (laughs) wow that was weird what do you call that what 
Like, what just happened there? Like A glitch? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, let's get up here. No, you're not gonna shake me off. Man, That's these are so epic. I know. Every yeah. single one of these things just looks so right, yeah. freaking Gosh. awesome. Right, no, I'm not gonna to... I'm not gonna get off. You hear me? <laughs> oh no, no you don't. No you don't. No you don't. Jeez! Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. I'm staying here. Uh, no. Losing grip. Ah! Holy crap! Wow. <laughs> I thought you fell off there. Okay, I gotta let my grip meter re... Regrip itself? Regrip itself, <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, there's one right here. No. He's a hairy little fella. Or No, fella. come on. Uh-oh. All right, I'm going to let myself regain myself here. All right. Yeah. All right, there we go. Did a little damage at least. Uh-uh. Not happening. Okay, so I think I used that one up, looks like. Ah! Are there any others, or is it just the one that's left on his head? It looks like it's just the one that's left on his head. <laughs> Let's get back up there. Ah! What the heck is the camera doing? Jeez. Messing around. Like always. Alright, there we go. And BAM! Come on. Yeah, that, w that was a good one. Come on. Sorry, there of you excited for uh, the uh, the new ones coming out. The uh, there we go, got him. Or actually, how about this? Did you, either of you play Ico? No. Or Ico, however you want to pronounce I've it. Heard I've heard it, seen it, but I haven't played it. I've never actually seen it, but I uh, and I never played it, but I know of it. And yeah, that's it. I seen the I seen the two pack for the PS3, so. Yeah, um, and then the new one that has been pushed back over and over. Oh god, run away, run away! This is our thing. We have to run away from this every single time. Does it explode? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's what happens. So every time we try and escape it, even though it's impossible, no, <laughs> it is impossible to escape it. But whatever, we do it anyway. But um, no, the uh, the new one. Um, which I knew in the last episode, and for some reason I cannot think of what it's called now. Uh, crap. Oh, what is it called? Space phone. <laughs> no. Space phone, tell me. Sequel. To Shadow of the Colossus. Um, what's it called? The Last Guardian. Are you guys excited for that one? I actually didn't know they have you, were. Have you ever heard of it? Mm -hmm. It's been um. I guess it's been it seems like it's been teased ever since the PS3 was released and like yeah. it still hasn't released um, looks gorgeous mm -hmm. but uh, the story is about like <clears throat> this boy and his it kind of looks like a giant bird it's like a really big bird looking thing and uh, it's about like their relationship mm -hmm. 
and so it's supposed to be it, it's very similar in that like this game for example is very like emotionally deep mm-hmm. and so this next one's supposed to be really deep as well this one's probably the more this one's very action oriented but I think the next one isn't going to be quite as action oriented it's more like uh, the, just the character development oh, so okay so which one is this one? Oh, this is the flying one this is the flying one oh do you remember this one? Mm-mm. This one's like this, part. this one flies over a lake, and mm-hmm. you have to like get up on these pillar things, and then from there jump up jump on, on top it. of the uh, the wing of one of them wow. or the wing, and it's just yeah, it's it's crazy. It sounds pretty tough too. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a cool, it's really cool like how they do it, but it's just it's tough. All right, let's get the sword back out. There we go. Yeah, last episode we were on one of the colossi, and I had to use my bow and arrow. Mm-hmm. And then I get up on on it, and I don't. I realize I don't see any of the glowing uh, symbols anywhere. So where am I supposed to stab it? And I realized I didn't have my sword out, and it'll only appear if you have your sword out. Oh! So I jumped off of the colossus, and I was just like, "Oh wait, <laughs> I did, I have to put my sword on." <laughs> sword <awesome>. on. <laughs> that sounds like Pull sword on. Sword on sounds like Zordon. Yeah. <laughs> Rangers. Why you give me a gun? Because I'm black? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wow. Best place ever. Who's uh, gonna toast my salad? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It's so funny. <laughs> Such a great video. It is. It's so bad, but it's so funny. <laughs> yeah, it's a juggernaut. <laughs> Oh no, I'm tripping on acid. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, Charles in my head. Oh, I'm tripping on acid. So great. Beat the sh to Charles. <laughs> Paralyzed son of a bitch. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So, uh, oh my yeah. god. That's so great. Yeah, watch that again. Sometime. Yeah, I need to watch that again sometime soon. It's so funny. For those of you who don't know what we're referencing right now, there's a uh, video on YouTube. Um, well, first find the I'm the Juggernaut, which is a video um, where they just overdub random voices over an episode of X-Men, the cartoon. And, uh, oh, how do I do this part? I forget. I guess I'm swimming. Um... And they overdub over one of the episodes of X-Men. But, um... Can I dive? No? Okay. But, uh, when you actually... Oh, there it goes. Um, when you actually... Watch that, there's also a Power Rangers one. (laughs) And the Power Rangers one is dubbed by the same people. Um, and it's just absolutely hilarious. But, uh... Yeah, definitely check both of those out if you haven't already. How do I go down? Can I go down? No? Okay, I guess I'm just going to oh. stay like this. I guess that works. You don't have, like, an oxygen gauge or anything? Uh, it's my little pink grip meter. It's the same thing. Oh. That, like, controls everything? Yeah. Come on. There we go. Awesome. No, don't call your horse. You don't need the horse. The horse can't swim over to you. Or can it? No, it can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yay, I, I went the right way. <laughs> I was afraid I was going to the wrong Colossus or something. Oh. And I was like, oh, please let it be the right one. And... Shoom. Yeah, wow. I get to get get up on that thing. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I remember that. No, the one, that one, the ginormous. I think it's ginormous. Yep. That thing is pretty big. So last episode we got about three taken care of, and but we had like this fifteen minute cutscene at the very beginning, so. I'm thinking we're going to be able to take care of four this episode. I, I, I'm i hoping at least. 
if we can get about four, we're about a you know fourth way through the video. So I think we can if we can be very uh, efficient at this, we can probably take down four of them this episode. His swimming sucks. By the way. <laughs> it's awful. It does look pretty bad. He cannot swim. Come on, the platforms are right over there. It's like he's trying to one arm and then the other arm's like a butter butterfly with the other one's like the yeah, he has a sword on. Yeah, he has the sword, so he has a sword out, so Can I switch it out? Put it away. Yeah, yeah we'll see. This one better. Let's see. No, not really. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> it's the same exact animation. It's worth a shot. <laughs> okay. So let's see here. He's up there. <laughs> Get up there. Come on, swim. Learn to swim for crying out loud. Okay. Is there anything over here? Nope. Wrong direction. Although the water looks pretty good for a PS2 game. Mm -hmm. Come on, get up there. <laughs> is there anything over here? Or is it the exact same thing? It's the exact same thing. Same okay. But water. I'm trying to remember what I have to do. I think I have to maybe hit him with a, an arrow. So let's try an arrow. Alright. Let it fly. Got him. Booyah. Oh, he's mad now. He's coming Thank after you. Ah, oh, darn it, I missed him. Come at me, bro. <laughs> wow. I dare you, come at me. Come on. I'm right here. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm gonna try getting the tail. Cause it looks like I might be able to land it if I can get the tail. There we go. Wow, did you see that? I thought you were gonna die. Uh, yeah, I did too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Come on. All right, we're in business. Now I just gotta find his weak spot. And hold on for dear life. All right, I think there's one at the back of his tail here. Yep, there you are. And bam! Uh, I love, like, the coolest thing about it is just, like, finding the actual spots. Because mm -hmm. they're, they're pretty innovative. All right, that one's going away now, I can tell. All right, so let's run up to the front here, and I think there's another one. It's gonna be toward, I think it's on his left wing, maybe? Something like that? Hmm. I think. <laughs> Either that or it's like on the very, very far out stretch of his wing, which would be awful and hard to get to. But that would make sense. <laughs> Make it as hard as possible, right? Right. <laughs> oh god, no! 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 <laughs> oh man. Alright, so I gotta swim back. Darn it. Alright. Game Staff's got a question out. And it goes, which game have you put the most hours of playtime into? Skyrim. Skyrim or Metal Gear Solid? <laughs> wow. Those are the games I'd have the most hours put into. Um, yeah, Corey? Street Fighter. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> wow, Corey. Street Fighter, really? I mean, I, I couldn't tell you which one, but 
Street Fighter in general? Just the series in general? Yeah, just the series in general, pretty much. Okay, if we want to just go with series, then it'd probably be Elder Scrolls for me. Because between Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim, I've got way too many uh, hours built into that. Like, I think Skyrim, I'm at like 70 hours or something. Wow. I've heard of people going over 500. Though. Yeah, that's just... That's crazy. That's insane. My Oblivion file has like 60 hours. I know that. And then Morrowind, I probably put like 80, 90, maybe 100 hours into. I see how many people responded with Skyrim. <laughs> or just Elder Scrolls in general. Pokemon. <laughs> okay. Modern Warfare, Soul Calibur. You like a grappling hook or something? A grappling hook. Smash Brothers, Final Fantasy. Be like Batman and shoot your thing up to him. That's sweet, man. Fall out. Where are you? Where is he? There he is. Follow him. There you go. Come at me, bro. Now he's coming. Come on. I dare you. I'm right here. I'm right here. Come on. <laughs> wow. Come at me. Come down. Come down. Here's some guy said he's got. Come he's down. Got about 280 hours in Skyrim already. Jeez. Wow. Okay, this guy's committed to Diablo too. He goes. He's got about five years worth of playing it for six days a week for about 14 hours a day. That's insane. That's a little obsessive. That's more than insane. That's obsessive. Yeah, that's insane. I'm surprised Starcraft isn't on there. Well, I'm just looking at the comments right now. Mm -hmm. Tales of Symphonia. There's this person that said they've played it over 500 hours worth which, because he's they've replayed it a dozen or so times. Jeez. There's a person here that says Pokemon Blue. He has over 350 hours into just Pokemon Blue. Wow. Yeah, I cannot. Yeah, I could not do that. Super Mario, the original Super Mario Brothers. Come back down for me? No? Man, he doesn't want to not beat me. I guess not. He's scared. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. There we go. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're back in business. Just Cause 2. Oh, dude, I could see someone spending a lot of hours in Just Cause 2. That game's awesome. They've spent over, a little over 100 already, and they're still going. Oh, yeah. That game's wow. sweet. I love Just Cause 2. Wow. Person, <laughs> of course. Some person uh, just before the new one was released uh, spent six years off and on playing it Jeez. before the new one was released. There's a guy that's uh, Final <laughs> Fantasy IX. Upside has, down. <laughs> Final Fantasy IX has over guy has over 2,500 hours logged total with just Final Fantasy IX. Jeez. <laughs> that's insane. Monopoly. Monopoly. <laughs> what? <laughs> Team Fortress oh, Two. That's that's it for it. So there must be one on his other wing then. Guys got guys got over 500 hours. Playtime for Team Fortress 2. Nice. I can see that. Come on, don't. I don't know. I can't. I can't play a game for an extended period of time. It's just after a while, it just kind of ah. gets boring. Darn it! I ran out of grip. All right. Guitar Hero and Rock Band. Guitar. Kyle, I'd probably, you comment I'd on probably that? put a lot of hours into Guitar Hero. Yeah. Me too. Guitar Hero 3 alone, Kyle. Corey, too. Yeah. Yeah. Corey, uh, I got Corey f uh, uh, pretty much fixated on uh, Guitar Hero, so. Mm hmm. That'd be, that'd be a fun one to do, maybe at some point. Maybe get some Guitar Hero, too. Batman. Or Guitar Hero in general. Batman, Arkham. Arkham City is pretty I awesome. have all the Guitar Heroes. Yeah. Do you have War is Rock? I do not have that one because I didn't care for it. But you it. just said you had all. No. <laughs> <laughs> I played it. I didn't care for it, so I didn't buy it. Warriors of Rock, I really want to play because it it's supposed to be uh, going back to like the original like Guitar Hero 2. Mm -hmm. So I really want to play the it. Only reason I, the only reason I'd play it is because it has Rush in it. It has the 
complete 2112 soundtrack in it. Nice. So you can play the 20 the 20 minute long song. I just want to play the old Dragon Force songs. That's it. Of course you do, Corey. <laughs> I think played, they're DLC I, though. I played Rock Band 3 when Sean got it, so. Only because I wanted to play Bohemian Rhapsody. Man, Dragon Force on Rock Band sucks. Yeah. Got it. Alright. I only own a couple of Rock Band games. I own none of them. Of course you do. Alright, let's do this. Alright. Oh. It's taking a lot longer than I had hoped. Oh no! Oh, come oh, on! No. Really? That was unnecessary. Kingdom Hearts. Eh. I haven't played Kingdom Hearts, so I wouldn't know. They're supposed to be making a third one, and they're supposed to be making the first two yeah. into HD. Which I would totally get. So how do you guys feel about the whole HD remake stuff? I like it. Some of them yeah. some of them deserve it, some of them just kinda like um why? <laughs> like which ones? I don't know, there's just a few where I could see it happening than the other ones. I like how they compile the games together. Like if there's more than like two games, I'll put them in a collection. Right. Like I have the Sly collection, I've been playing that, and I'm I'm planning on getting the Jack and Daxter collection. Okay. Because I like it how they have it. Because I've played all of them before, and I like how they can have all three on one disc now. Right. Yeah. But no, I was asking like, which one did you find to be like unappealing or not necessary? I don't know. I haven't. I haven't really seen any yet that. Not necessarily yet, but there's some of that. There's some of them that I want to see come out. Like I want to see some of the older ones. I want to see uh, Metal Gear Solid. See, I haven't seen that yet. Com it's awesome. Complete. Yeah, the complete set. I really want to see the first one. Well, the first one isn't in HD. <laughs> oh, it's not? No. Oh. No, oh, they didn't do two, it the first uh, one. Two and I wanna, yeah, I want to see a complete like box set that has every single one in it. Well, Kojima has already said that if he was going to do a uh, HD release of MGS1, that he would actually go back and just redo the whole thing. All right. Let's do this right this time. MGS1 with MGS4 graphics, that would be so awesome. I don't know if I would say yes to that or not. <laughs> really? Well, he's supposed to be making a new one here, another another game. Yeah, here. he's already started on the next yeah. year. But um, no, the reason why I would say I'm not so sure about that is because he said that if he were to make MGS1 again with new graphics and stuff, that he would completely change the gameplay. So it would not be... Oh. What the heck? It wouldn't necessarily be MGS1. It would not it would, be MGS1. It'd be like yeah. MGS1.2 or something like that. It would be like when they released it for the GameCube, which I hated so yeah. much. Twin Snakes was so... I'm sorry. I know people who liked it. I think it's a god-awful game. <laughs> I if I were to give it a score, I would have given it like a 5 out of 10. Ouch. <laughs> I do not. I hate that Butcher game. In the game. <laughs> I hate that game so much. I really do. Um, and people are like, "Oh, but it, you know, it looks better than the first, than the original." I'm like, "Yeah, it looks better." That's it. <laughs> the gameplay is horrible compared to the the first one. Yeah. Which is funny because the gameplay is the same as MGS two. Mm. So it's like MGS one does not do well with MGS 2s control scheme, which I found kind of interesting. Hmm. But that's just my opinion. I mean, I know a lot of people who think it's really good. I just, I, I felt that they shortened it. They took out a lot of gameplay in order to put more videos into it. And they just made the graphics look nicer. And that was about it. Hmm. Have you played Twin Snakes for GameCube? No. Nope. How's the dialogue? Is like everybody's voice is the same pretty much? Or they got they all, that? they got mostly the same actors. They changed it so that Naomi. Um, in the original, for MG, original MGS one, she has a British accent, and they got rid of it in the new one. Oh. They had her just have a normal American accent, and then they did the same thing with Mei Ling. She no longer had like a Chinese accent. She was very just Americanized, which mm. I think is just absolutely horrible and stupid. Kind of pointless. I so, 
Okay. Here we go again. <laughs> Man. I don't think we're gonna get rid of four of them in one episode. <laughs> this is interesting. Yeah, this is only number two. Alright, I'm gonna climb down. Alright, just run, just run, no! Crap. What the heck are you doing? Wow. Okay, come on, get up. Oh my god, get up! Wow. Okay, this is becoming annoying. <laughs> mm. This should not be happening. <sighs> All right. We're going to be lucky if we get two done, I guess, this episode. Oh, no. <laughs> well, hey, we're still doing better than Star Wars. <laughs> Very true. I, I don't expect this to go nearly as long as Star Wars. Nine episodes? I don't think so. Is that our rec is that a record then? Nine is how many we did for Star yeah. Wars. And is that our longest. record? Well, yeah. I mean, the only other one we've done is Metal Gear Solid. So, okay. got him. Come back here, you. All right. Get the sword back out. Oh, get prepared. <laughs> Uh, can do this. Yeah. You can do it. You can do it all night long. <laughs> I have to go home and watch that movie now. Okay. I'm on the wrong. I'm on the wrong way. Oh no. It's all right. I'll just try to move over to it. See, he just starts flapping his wings so much that it's almost impossible to try and stay on him. Camera. I gotta switch the controls on the camera because I keep messing that up too. Oh, come on, do not fall. No, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Jeez. I hate when he gets stuck on this thing too because it's like he, he's gonna start falling for to the back of it. Alright, go, 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 go! What the heck? Run. There we go. Uh, All right, one more and he should be done. Finally. Oh. That was a much bigger chore than it needed to be. Wow. Oh. And now we're gonna get stabbed by the weird black stuff. Did you see the video? I don't know if I remember if I sent you a link or not on YouTube of the boy playing Guitar Hero and doing a Rubik's Cube at the same time. No. What? He was playing Guitar Hero, oh, it looks like he was playing Guitar Hero with his feet, or I don't know if it was, yeah, with his feet, I think it was. But it wasn't on, I think it was on Expert, something like that. And he was doing a Rubik's Cube at the same time. So he was like playing Guitar Hero while doing a Rubik's Cube. And this kid couldn't have been more than 10 or 11. It doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> it was really cool because he was like, you could see he was he was playing the Guitar Hero because you watch, he had him videotaping him playing Guitar Hero. Uh -huh. And he was doing the Rubik's Cube at the same time. So somehow so he wait, was doing... Was he using his hands for both of them or what? I don't know if he was using, I think he was using his hands for both, but I think he was also using his feet, or he was using something. I gotta see this video. But yeah, the kid was only that like... doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> the kid had only, could only have been like, no less than maybe 10. Well, if we find the video, I'll just have it overlaid right now, so that people can see it like we've done before, so. Just a little snippet so you can kind of see what the video looks like. But yeah, that sounds really weird. <laughs> I mean, I can solve a Rubik's Cube and I can play Guitar Hero really well, so maybe I can do it. <laughs> it's 
Yeah, I haven't played the Tire Guns. Probably can't do it through the Fire and Flame anymore. You did it, we did it at the uh, marathon. Yeah, I know, but I didn't do the beginning. I just, no, I did, but that's I fine. just got it back from Sean, so I haven't played it. Alright, right. who's next? Underneath the Temple. Which one is this one? I do not know which one this is. I know, or uh, no, I don't think it's the one that's in the Colosseum thing. There's this one that's in a Colosseum that I think Corey, I think you remember that one where it's like this uh, centipede-looking thing or something like that, and it like crawls along the the walls. And you mm -hmm. have to try and just try and get it to uh, fall off the wall, and then you have to run all the way back down and stab it in, in its stomach while it's laying on the ground. Oh, okay. Do you remember that one? I at can't all? recall. No. no. All right. Where's it at? That way. For some reason, I've been whistling the Indiana Jones theme whenever I play this game. You do that often. I do that it's often in general. <laughs> but yeah. It seems appropriate. Oh, you're not supposed to whistle into a microphone because it sounds like crap. Okay, so we're going that way. Alright, so we might get three more done again. I mean, you know, we might be able to get this done in five or six episodes then, at this rate. If we can get th at least three done every episode. Although the last Colossus takes a while, I remember that. That thing took forever. Come on, keep going. You can do it. Let's get out of the fog so I can use the sword again. Wait, you can't use it in the fog? Oh, because it's got light. The light, yeah, it requires oh. light in order to use it. Come on. I guess that makes sense. Whoa! That was interesting. <laughs> I think it's this way. Um, maybe. <laughs> we'll find out. We shall see. See, that's the one thing. Like, there are multiple um, colossi that are all in the same direction. It's kind of like, which way do I, which one is it that I'm going to this time? Which direction? You see that? That's cool. It actually, like, clears your view. That's pretty cool. All right, so it's right over here. Oh, I think I know which one this is. And this one's awesome if it's the one that I'm thinking of. This one you have to like, you have to like lure it through a bunch of walls and it just like destroys all the walls as you're going. And then you eventually climb up and then uh, jump on top of it. But yeah, it's, it's like destroys everything in its path. <laughs> it's so epic. Yeah, I think it's this one. That'd be a great one to end on. No. Come on, up there. Get up here. Go. There you go. All right. Ah, no light. Let's do this. I'm ready for this one. This one's one of my favorites. Be awesome, just like face one of my favorites every single episode. <laughs> Go! Run! It's also kind of crazy he's doing this just, you know, because for the love of someone, he's like 16 or 17. <laughs> he's in love. Yeah. No, it's just hormones. <laughs> <laughs> yep. At that age, it's just hormones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. He's the Colossus is right through this wall that I'm about to climb down. I can't just jump down there. I'm just joking. I I mean I could I could drop down. <laughs> there you go. Kid so kid plays Guitar Hero while solving two Rubik's oh, cubes. Oh crap! Okay. And while solving two Rubik's cubes. Yeah. 
I don't. I think I just looked it up, so. Here we go. Yeah, it's, it's like it, it's crazy. legit though, because it's like on it's on like joystick and it's on huh. Kotaku and all of those. So, Let's see here if I can find the video. It's on like College Humor. Break has it. Jeez. Yeah, this guy. Look at him. Wow. He looks Run! like one of those. Uh, he looks like one of those Leviathans on Underworld. You mean Leviathan? Or, yeah, however, <laughs> however you say it. Leviathan. That's funny. I'm gonna call it that from now on. <laughs> Leviathan. That sounds better in my opinion. Craig, release the Leviathan! <laughs> Let's see here. There we go. No, I don't need my horse. It's a big creature. Yep. Is I think I remember you fighting that guy. Yeah. Why are they hairy? Well, because if they weren't, you wouldn't have anything to grip onto. Hmm. It's more of a gameplay mechanic than anything. Go! <laughs> Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> no, that's not where I go. Okay, I gotta wait. I gotta have him destroy this wall real quick. Well, that was quick. Don't mind me. <laughs> barrel roll time. Okay. So now I get to go up this thing. Or is that how this works? Or does he look down and look down in here, and then I grab onto his beard or something? I don't think he knows where you are. Oh, I'll make it known. <laughs> He's like, "What is that?" It's like Metal Gear. Mistake, dude. Yeah, I love the music. It's so good. It's so epic. You can actually buy the soundtrack to this. Oh, I'm sure. It's so great. <laughs> it was funny uh, in the last episode we were talking about how you could probably get it. Find someone's probably made a chia pet version of these guys. <sighs> wow. <laughs> I can see it. So have you guys, have you, any of you guys stopped at uh, Mr. Free since it's been open? I have not. I'm gonna go though at some point. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go more this year. I usually don't go that as much as I should. It's because you're crazy. I am. All right, regain some grip here. You're a taken. Right through the dome. Yep. Look at all that blood. Oh, that's not blood. Brain fluid, then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks like a oil. <laughs> okay, so that's all of his head. So we gotta find the other one, wherever it is. There you are, on the side. Come on, no. Ain't happening. Come on, go down, go down, go down. Darn it, my grip meter. Bam! Oh, is there something for me to hang on to? No, oh, come on, come on. Come on, no. Oh, 
me bro <laughs> I've been here hello goodbye hello goodbye hello oh oh shouldn't have leaned down uh oh I can't reach oh me. come on really all right, look again. There you go, good boy. There we go. Okay, now we're on. Okay, I guess we're gonna go right since he seems to want to go over to the right. Look at him. Nasty. I thought he looked epic. Looks like a metal rocker. Come on, why am I not moving anywhere? There you go. I was gonna say he looks kinda like the God of Rock, but... <laughs> he does kinda have that, that look to him. Pretty sure I can take him down this time. Come on. Almost there. Stop shaking. Yeah. One more. One more. Yeah. There we go. Got Three more. We got ten more to go, and then that's it. Run away! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> is there any way to escape that? No, there's not. You're not supposed to. There not is. There's one level where you're on this like big dome. Mm-hmm. And, uh, or not a dome, it's more like a saucer. And I always try to get to the clip, the side of it and just jump off into the lake below just to yeah. see if I can do it. But it, it, it comes at you quicker on that one. Oh, yeah. Specifically because I think they thought about that. So it's yeah. like, oh, well, we can't let that happen. So. Hmm. <sighs> And every time you beat one, you get there's another spirit there that's just watching you as you sleep. It's that's very, cool. it's very. No, it's not. It's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching you as you sleep. <laughs> so great! I want more games like this where it's just boss fights. Yeah, it's so cool. It's so awesome. It's different. That's for sure. It's never made games like that. No, and that's what makes this game so awesome. This is so unique. All right, so let's see who the next one is, real quick. Next one is the die explorer. The one hidden in the lake. Thunder lurks underwater. Oh, this is the one that's underwater. So basically, you know that flying one that I did? Yeah. It's kind of like that, except with like an underwater sneak. That one's not fun. That's probably my least favorite, I have to say. That, 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 that I can think of, at least, at the moment. I think that's my least favorite of them all, is that one. So, all right, well. We took care of three of them. I think that's uh, 
a good place to stop for this episode. And uh, thanks for watching this episode of Community Super Replay, and we will see you next time.